I'm Carmelo Campos, I'm a member of the working group of the Greater Caribbean for Life that was established two years ago here in Madrid. Uh, in terms of, of the death penalty in the Caribbean region, it, it is a very mixed situation because you have few executions, you have a dismission of people on death row, but, and at the same time you have a strong support from the governments for that penalty. In some cases, government like in Trinidad and Belize are proposing amendments to increase uh, the, the number of executions in the region. And the only reason why we don't hear more about that penalty in the Caribbean are for the success of, of lawyers challenging that penalty in cases like the Privy Council in London that is the court of last resort for most of the English-speaking Caribbean and but other than that if those uh, results haven't been achieved we will have much more executions in the Caribbean. The abolition struggle is a multi-sectoral and multi-strategy uh, struggle. You have Work, uh, lawyers working in the courts, working to amend laws, but also we need to strengthen the civil society ingredient in the Caribbean. Voices from the Caribbean telling we don't need that, we can live without that penalty. That penalty doesn't deserve to be in our legal system. And that is why we years ago proposed the creation of the regional network in which we can have an inter-Caribbean dialogue instead of having people from UK or France uh, telling to, to the Caribbean folks that you are uh, against that penalty, you are violating that penalty uh, law because you have that penalty. To have that kind of dialogue between people of the same region with the same characteristic telling that we don't need the penalty to, to fight criminality and violence and there are other alternatives for that.